Hello everybody, Jason DeLeo, uh, Food by DeLeo, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, this is our Wednesday edition of Cooking with Jay. Uh, we're going to show you one of our uh, most popular recipes and it is sesame chicken. Uh, it's really popular, we sell a ton of them and uh, you can learn how to make it tonight. Also, don't forget, uh, this dish is on uh, this week's menu. So uh, if you order tonight, you can get it delivered by uh, Sunday or Monday right to your door. Okay? All right, so thank you for coming and uh, let's get started. Uh, the way we start this dish is I've got boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I cut about one inch pieces. Uh, I pop those in a bowl. We're going to marinate this overnight. Uh, obviously, we won't, but I'll, I'll that's what we should do. Uh, gets that flavor for you. Um, we're going to add in about a tablespoon, about a pound of chicken. We do about a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. Uh, next, we're going to add. Right here, I've got our uh, ginger, garlic, and scallion. It's uh, essential to any uh, Chinese cooking. So uh, we're gonna add that, we're gonna add that raw. So again, the, the, it's minced garlic, minced uh, ginger, and then sliced scallions. Just enough to coat. And then uh, next, we're gonna add uh, a little bit of soy. And this is gluten-free soy, uh, you can get it uh, anywhere. Uh, uh, some people call it tamarind uh, soy, but gluten-free nonetheless. We try to use as many uh, gluten-free products as we can. Uh, we know people have allergies. And I'm going to add a little bit of rice wine vinegar. About a, a teaspoon. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of sesame oil. Just enough to get it a coat. All right, then. Just gonna mix. Uh, you want to mix it nice and thoroughly, and like I said, uh, you can go right into the pan with this, like we're going to, or you can uh, you can let this sit overnight. If you let it sit overnight, uh, it really tenderizes the meat, gives it a nice flavor. All right, so we're gonna do that's it. We marinated our chicken, and then uh, we're gonna saute it over here. I'm gonna show you how we put the rice together now. Uh, we're gonna get the chicken cooking. So head over to the head over to the stove. So on this, you want to make sure you've got a nice hot pan. Uh, I'm going to add just a touch of olive oil to this. And there's a little sesame on the uh, sesame oil on the chicken. So I want to make it so it doesn't stick. Uh, get a nice hot pan. And I'm going to heat this pan up too to get our, uh, our fried rice going. I'll show you that next. So we're going to put our chicken in. Let it out so we get it nice and even. All right, and we're just gonna let that go. Usually it takes about uh, six minutes on either side. Uh, make sure you get a nice, a nice, the right size pan. If you have a wok, woks work great. Uh, if you don't, I like a nonstick pan for uh, for anything uh, that I'm gonna add sugar to. So there's gonna be hoisin added to this. There's gonna be starch added to this. So a nonstick pan really helps with any kind of. Uh, uh, and it's going to uh, gel off the sugar up, make things stick. Uh, all right, so we're going to let that chicken go on about a medium heat. Now, over here, we're going to start our, uh, our fried rice. And to keep the calories low, I'm going to be adding uh, pan, just to uh, not add any extra fat, just to coat the bottom of the pan. And then I've got uh, some rice that I already pre-cooked. Excuse me. Can't forget. First ingredient is going to be our ginger garlic scallion. Uh, in the cooking world, we call it GGS. Uh, very, very important, and it really gives you that aroma. Um, it just, uh, you really can't be beat. It's uh, in any, I wouldn't say any Asian cooking, but definitely in Chinese cooking. Ginger garlic and scallion is a uh, staple, and uh, it's always a start. So if you've ever gone to uh, the Japanese steakhouse, or you've gone to, uh, uh, that's kind of the style that we do it in. Again, I don't add a lot of fat and butter like they do. We just do a little spray pan. Uh, ginger garlic scallion, but you're gonna get the secret to, uh, to how to make that rice at the, uh, at the hibachi spot, right? So then we're gonna add our, uh, our rice next. Again, I don't add any eggs to mine, you can. Uh, just uh, something I prefer not to. So I've got about, I don't know, maybe three cups of cooked rice. And I'm gonna put it right into the pan. Now, like I said, it's pre-cooked because you want to get a nice little sear on it. 
Uh, it's gonna, not too high heat, but a nice medium heat. Then we're just gonna break it up for a minute. And we'll let that start to rock out. All right. So in the meantime, we're gonna come over to our chicken, see how it's doing. Looks pretty good. And I'm gonna turn. See, it's starting to get nice caramely color, some caramelization going on in the chicken. The, uh, the nice thing is the cornstarch will, I don't know if you've ever gone to the Asian restaurant and uh, the Chinese restaurant and you get sesame chicken or, or something that has that, that thicker sauce. The cornstarch that we added is, is what's gonna start to bind that as we, as we add our liquid ingredients. And we're even gonna add another, I'm gonna show you how to make a slurry. If you've never made a slurry, to thicken things uh, with cornstarch. So we'll show you that too. All right, so our chicken is turned. We're gonna come back over to our rice. All right. Starting to get a nice little uh, sear on the bottom. And we're gonna add, so a lot of people do different things. Uh, I like to keep my, my rice pretty simple. I add some uh, carrots and peas to it, which we're gonna add now. And then, gonna mix that up again. You can tell if you look in here, you see that the rice is starting to, it's a little color, that, that, that fried rice, that nice texture that you want to go for. All right, so right now, like I said, in here we've got the rice, the ginger garlic scallion, some peas and carrots, and uh, we are going to start adding our, to build our sauce here, it's a lot of the same ingredients we're going to add here. So uh, let's start with the chicken. Let that rice keep going. All right, so hoisan. This is gonna be the first ingredient we add. We're gonna add some uh, gluten-free soy, and this is also gluten-free hoisan. Uh, we're gonna add some sesame oil, which I also have here. A little sweet chili sauce, and I've got this honey uh, kinda on its side to make it a little easier to, uh, to get out. And then uh, some rice wine vinegar, which I have here. So uh, we're gonna build our sauce. Let's go build our sauce. Let's get that started. All right, so. First thing we're going to do, add about, about a tablespoon and a half of voice on. Next, I'll be adding our soy. About uh, three tablespoons of soy, and I'm going to turn this down at this point. And then my rice wine vinegar. A tablespoon. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of my sesame oil. And then we're going to add about a teaspoon of honey. You can add brown sugar, I just like to add honey. It's a little more natural look. And now, uh, better for you. All right, so I'm gonna let, kind of let that do its thing. Try to get some color on it, and the uh, sauce is starting to build its flavors. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this, and let it simmer down a little bit. And then we will come back over to our rice. So we're gonna let that chicken do its thing. Finish up there. All right. So next, we're going to come over back to our rice, and let's take a look at what it looks like in the bottom. It looks real good. And I'm going to get rid of the metal spoon now and go to our wooden spatula. Okay. So for the rice, I'm going to add uh, three ingredients. I'm going to add soy. Uh, again, that's say about three tablespoons of soy. Next, I'm going to add some sesame oil. About a tablespoon of sesame oil. And I'm going to add some rice wine vinegar. Now, it's pretty simple, it's pretty basic, tastes really good. 
all the flavors are there, I promise you. Some people at this point like to, if you like it a little sweeter, um, I don't. This is where I like it, right here. Um, pretty simple, ginger garlic scallion. Uh, we sprayed the pan, we added a little bit of uh, rice to it, fried it up, added our vegetables. And then we did uh, sesame, sesame oil, uh, soy sauce, and we did rice wine vinegar. Uh, that is the traditional uh, abasi rice right there. Now, some people might add, they like a little sweetness to it. This is sweet chili sauce. You can add it, I'm not going to. And then I'm gonna finish it. Uh, we do this at uh, Food by DeLeo. I'm gonna add some of the baby corn. And I'm gonna add a lit, little bit of the uh, broccoli in here. And the rest of the broccoli, I'm gonna throw in with the chicken. If you're making this at home, you can throw the, uh, the veg right in. Makes it simple, one, one pot. And we're gonna turn the uh, gonna turn our chicken back up, get that reducing so we can plate. And let's take a look at our rice. All right, it's starting to stick a little bit. Heat it all the way through. All right, let me taste it. See what we got. Oh, there we go. Um, I like to finish it with a little sesame seeds. I like the bite. I like the texture. Um, but that's it. There you have it, folks. Simple hibachi style fried rice, food by DeLeo style with our corn and a little bit of broccoli in there. Tastes great. Again, if you want to sweeten it up a little bit, feel free to add sweet chili sauce. A little bit of that white sun does a trick too, but I like it like this. More traditional style. Uh, next, we're kicking our, we're going to finish up our chicken. All right, so the rice is ready to go. So again, if you're making this dish for a family, rice is ready. Now we're going to finish up. Chicken is 90% of the way there. We threw our veg in. I like them firm, so we're just going to get a little bit of, uh, so they're still to the bite. Sauce is thickening up. All right, so now we're gonna finish the sauce. I like it with a little heat to it. Um, so we're gonna add a little sriracha. Let's say about a about a teaspoon of the sriracha. Um, then we are going to let me show you what a slurry is here. We have basic. Cornstarch, water, you know, uh, equal parts. Uh, a little more cornstarch than you do water. So maybe a tablespoon of uh, cornstarch. And enough water just to, just to incorporate it. Get it, you want it to look like milk. They can add this really to anything to thicken. Uh, when it boils is gonna be when it activates it. So you add this, bring it to a simmer, the simmer will thicken it. We're gonna add a, just maybe two teaspoons. I make it through. All right. All right. I'm gonna shut the heat. Now we're gonna finish this with some sesame seeds and some scallions, and uh, sprinkle some sesame seeds on top. And uh, there you have it, folks. Sesame chicken with a little broccoli. And come on over and we'll plate. All right, folks, so this is how we're gonna plate it. I like to get in from the bottom. I like some of that brown stuff. The, the, I like the flavor and the crunch from the, uh, from the fried rice, so get it in from there. All right. So about, about a serving is about a cup, cup and a half. And, because you get plenty of vegetables in there. And then we're gonna, Finish our chicken here and our broccoli. This really is a really, really nice dish. Um, now, if we we're going to make this non food by DeLeo style from boxes, you could, uh, you'd fry it up, it'd be even crunchier, but this is, uh, is our version. Tastes great. And uh, let me 
finish it with uh, a few more sesame seeds. And scallions. That they have, folks. Sesame chicken food by Delito style. Uh, thank you very much for coming. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. If uh, anything else you'd like to see, uh, anything else you'd like to learn how to cook that I can help with, uh, we can do on a Wednesday. Let me know. Maybe we can even uh, invite you over to try it as I cook it. So uh, thank you very much. Jason DeLeo, Food by DeLeo. Have a great night.